Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15. Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity, because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. Do not get drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery. Instead, be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another with psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit. Sing and make music from your heart to the Lord, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I The part that I want to speak about the most is... Uh, well, that stood out to me the most is verse 16, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Every moment, every, every day that we wake up is the Lord blessing us with an opportunity to walk by the Spirit, to, to wake up, to pray, give thanks, um, pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ, and begin our day walking by the Spirit, like he says, instead be filled with the Spirit. And that is when it's saying be filled with the Spirit. It's not just, a, you know, imagine a glass. It's not just filling up a glass to the top, but it's a cup continuously pouring into a glass and the water falling out of it continuously. It's us you know, a water being filled with the spirit continuously and us bearing fruit is the way we should be living. I um <clears throat> I saw this verse and or I saw these set of scriptures and think thought to myself, you know, we, we have that choice every multiple times of the day, God blesses us with opportunities to either to either uh, walk by the Spirit or to to listen to our flesh and let our our sinful desires entice us, and God tells us to stand firm in the next chapter and in many other chapters and books of the Bible. You know, Ephesians six ten. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. He tells us to to um, be ready because our our sinful nature, our desires, our, um, the enemy is going to um, try and make us stumble. Yeah. So when, when we uh, see the opportunity, when as soon as we wake up, when you're at work, when you're anywhere, make the most out of every opportunity. Do everything wholeheartedly as though you're doing it for the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Amen, brother. Now, you talked about the cup being filled with, you know, filling your cup up. And I usually share on that is that we, we need to be so filled that our overflow, that people are receiving from our overflow, they're not drinking from our cup because we don't want any anybody to drain our cup. We want to be so filled up that they, all they can receive is from the overflow of our cup because we're so filled with the Holy Spirit and with Christ. Yeah. Now that that's a that's a good uh, illustration of how we should be as Christians instead of being, you know, half full half empty, you know, or almost empty or, <laughs> yeah, we should be so filled up that when we are walking, people are, we see, are getting that overflow that we have. Yes. And that's, that's a good illustration of that. And, what, and the Apostle Paul also tells us how to do it. In verse 19, he says, speak to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs and some of that could be just hey i you know we're um i'm gonna share a scripture with a brother our brother's gonna share a scripture with me you know and i have lots of brothers that i i do that with and it's it's really a blessing 
and he says um making melody with your in your heart to the lord that's worship right um always giving thanks in all things in the name of our lord jesus christ to god even the father and be subject to one another in the fear of christ that's that's walking in the spirit <clears throat> being filled with the spirit in Psalm number 23, it says, My cut of soul over overflow. He said in verse 6, right? We have to overflow our cup, and then after that, surrounding area, right? They will be received again that uh, flowing. Amen. Right now, that uh, verse uh, 16 and 17, it will say the way continues that redeeming the time, redeeming the time because they are evil. In verse 18, do not be drawn with wine in which this passion, but fill with the spirit and where to overflow. In Psalm number 23, let me read but, uh, <clears throat> Psalm number 23. <clears throat> Psalm number 23, let me read verse uh, 5. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint, anoint my head with wine. My cup run over. My cup run over. <clears throat> it's very important to run our cup. My cup overflows well. I just noticed that. Yeah. <laughs> cool. And verse 18 is how when you're filled with the spirit you can't overflow your cup on your own no so it's something right. the holy spirit does you know he you yeah. to be filled with the holy spirit and so if you're filled with the holy spirit let's go backwards if you're filled with the holy spirit verse 18 you won't get drunk if you're filled with the holy spirit you won't live unwisely and you'll understand the lord's will if you feel with the holy spirit you're going to redeem your time if you're filled with the Holy Spirit, you won't act like fools, but you'll live as wise. In that part, we have to go a little bit about that biblical separation that one also, it was connected. I believe that we are. And then if you go to Ephesians 3.19, it talks about that too, about to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge that you may be filled with the fullness of God. So, so to know his love and to have the Holy Spirit living within you, you'll, you'll, you'll know that you, you will be filled by the, because his knowledge will enrich you. Mm -hmm. And man, who doesn't want that? Right. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> man, I mean, I want and I, and I want to go out in this this broken sinful world on my own and tackle that. Heck no. Yeah. Yeah, no. There's no way we can do that. It'll eat us up. Yeah. Yeah, we've been talking a lot about the Holy Spirit. Jesus talked about the Holy Spirit in Luke chapter eleven. Turn there really quick. Luke eleven thirteen. But Jesus here says. If you, sinful people, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give you the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? Yeah, yeah. it's you know, available. It's it is exactly it's available. We just need to ask God for the Holy Spirit. Yeah, you know, on your knees, repent, Father, forgive me, Lord, I am sinful, like like we learned in Matthew nine. Those who realize their sins. And then, Lord, give me your Holy Spirit. <laughs> and it says here that our Heavenly Father will give us the Holy Spirit. How much more will he give you the Holy Spirit to those who ask? And that's where I, that's where I go back to, too. I mean, I, I mean, that's the main one there. But is there anything that he will hold back that's gonna, is, that is for our good, that will glorify him? No. He, there's nothing that he will hold back from us if we ask for it. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that answers every single one of my prayers. When I when I ask him for wisdom, he blesses me with wisdom. Yes. When I ask him for strength, he blesses me with strength, comfort, peace. He blesses me with all those things. 